Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making a beat on the NPC Key 61. Let's get to it. So a brand new project loaded up. I think I'm gonna start with the Mini D because I like the Mini D quite a bit. I'm also just gonna be focusing on this box by itself. I'm not gonna be including other synthesizers or anything like that. Let's see, Retropad? <laughs> Yeah, retro pad's pretty cool. Now, one thing that I've been really enjoying about the MPC Key 61 is the touch strip and the touch effects. I actually didn't realize the touch effects were separate from the, what is it called? M1XFX, this thing right here. This is a separate controller versus the touch effects. And the touch effects are always inserted onto uh, output one and two. Now you could change that wherever you want, but by default, they're, um, they're loaded up onto this thing right here, and you can start messing with it, which is really freaking cool. By the way, you could also just hold the touch effects, and you can choose different presets that are in here already. And they're very useful, obviously. Like, one of my fave is the granular. So if I go like this. I think that's really cool, especially that it can be done on anything or like the, the, um, the master output that's happening. So I'm going to actually adjust this a bit. In fact, can I use one thing that's weird though, is the Q links don't move on here. So don't know why that is, but whatever. Let's increase the grain length, window length a bit. Uh, stereo spread can go up. Yeah. Pretty cool. Right. So I think what I'm going to do is sample. Uh, the or I'm going to resample the output and chop that up a bit. And in order to do that, we're going to use the looper to get 16 bars and then chop it from there. So let's do that. Now, in order to so if you don't know, you go menu and then looper right there. That's how you get to it. And then you can adjust how many bars it only goes up to 16 right now. And I don't know why I wish it was beyond that, but that's what it's at right now. So what I want to do is record into the looper, but not record actual MIDI into track one, I just want to play the MIDI. So in order to do that, all I have to do is hit this button and it still is monitoring MIDI, uh, MIDI into track one, but it's not going to record uh, MIDI. So if you look at this, nothing. There was nothing recorded, but it still played the track. So menu, looper. 16 bars. I have to change the input to resample. So we have resample on there. I'm going to hit record right here and then overdub and hit play. So we have a sample, it's in time with the, the BPM. So we are going to export this, say so export. And I guess we'll call it a synth loop. Look at that, it didn't miss a single key. I swear the screen is better. Synth loop, keep. So now if we go back to our main track, let's go to track four, I guess, or five. We're gonna make it a key group right here, but now we're going to go Edit sample, so sample edit right here. There's a synth loop right there. It was recorded a little hot. Could have turned down the volume a bit. Oh well, we're gonna press the trim button right here. And so we can chop it, and I'm gonna chop it into regions, 16 regions. So now. Beautiful. So I'm gonna hold shift, I'm gonna hit convert, and it's gonna say new drum group. I'm gonna say yes, or do it. And then I go back to the main menu, and then if I scroll the program to the next one, I got the synth loop. And if you go edit, it's automatically in mono. It seems to trim the attack and release so you don't get um, clipping artifacts. Yeah, by the attack being one. I think that's why it does it. So we could roll with that or we could affect it further. Personally, I like to affect it further. So let's go back to the middle thing right here. 
And I'm going to throw a Airflavor Pro on here. This is a paid plugin. So if you just got the MPC Key 61, then you don't have access to Airflavor Pro, just FYI on there. Uh, it's a really great plugin, and you can get VST and audio unit versions if you purchase it. So I've been using it a lot in Ableton. Just saying, I actually really enjoy this plugin a lot. Got the dusty vibe. So I'm gonna bring up this. Turn the width up. Actually, let's turn the width down. So in the vinyl side of things, I always adjust the, the crackle and clicks and stuff. Like I don't want too many clicks and pops, but I like the crackle. That's obviously too much, but you know. I don't want rumble in there. Uh, the noise also I want down a little bit. And then I uh, turn up the stereo effect. And then the release, I'll probably crank this up for a second and a half or so. So there's a bit more time. On the digital side, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to process it a bit. Now, right now, the way it's set up is there's basically very little processing. It's only, it's like nothing happens 10K and below. So if you want this to do some stuff, you got to uh, adjust the high pass input. So watch. And actually, let's crank the, the digital all the way up here so you can hear it. Too much in that. Let's go up. I like what's happening here. I want some glitch effects. Let's crank this all the way. I definitely like that as well. Stereo is already full, which is great. Uh, let's adjust the bits down. Love it. It's so like dirty sounding. I'm gonna drop this down to say like 50 or 40 or so. So now the, the digital effects are like a hint in there exactly what I want. Now we could stop here or we can go a little bit further. One interesting effect could be there's like a frequency shift. Yeah. This is kind of interesting. So right now it's like you don't really hear much. Crank up the feedback. And then the frequency. I might actually automate that for um, when it's actually playing. Let's go back to the Airflavor Pro. I forgot I wanted to adjust the pitch stuff on here. The stereo. I usually like to crank the stereo. Drift up a bit. Just add some more wobble character in there. That's pretty cool. That's actually a good base to start with, you know, to get something going. Because I don't really know. It's a 95 BPM. Let's, uh, let's roll with it for now. I'm going to drop this to exactly 95. Let me get eight bars. Uh-oh, I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> Whoops. One more time. Let's actually increase the game. 
By the way, if you do plan on picking up any gear and specifically like an NPC at Key 61, if you use our affiliate links, then it really helps out the channel. We specifically use Zounds. Zounds is our go-to place and we're also affiliates with them. We've been using them for years and we've also been using their no credit plan for like several years as well. So really good stuff. That's what we recommend. And thank you very much. What else should we do? Should we get some drums right away? Let's do it. Let's go browse. Expansions, NPC key, drum kits, disco. Try this trap kit and see. I'm not specifically making a trap beat, but for this, I'm going to go pad nine for the drums. Yeah, actually, that kind of works. So. Next track over, do some hats real quick. We're gonna use the arpeggio for this, the note repeat. Yeah. So with the trap kit, we're going to uh, throw the Air Flavor Pro in there as well, because that's uh, kind of what I do. Air Flavor Pro. We're going to only hit the kit initially here. Yeah. All right, first thing is we want Studio Large. And then we go to the pitch, do the same type of stuff, make it stereo. I'm just vibing the, the kit up right now. Like that's my main goal. some volume dropouts. A little more vibey. So at this point, you need like a bass, other instruments, stuff like that. Sounds. We're on the first plugin, by the way, which is the Mini D. I'm gonna go bass. Uh, the Mini f Mini Thump. Pretty good. The fatty is more bitey. Let's do this one initially, see if it works. I'm also gonna increase the volume. Or let's throw a limiter on there. And increase the gain. Yeah, something like that. Now for this, we're gonna adjust the timing correction here. I don't want it 100% because everything so far has been 100% quantized. We're gonna make this relatively loose recording. Also, I need to make sure I go back to 16th, otherwise I could screw things up. So we got eight bars. Um, I actually don't know what the harmony will be. 
We got a bass. That sounds cool. I'm going to name it bass too. Bass. Next plugin. Go sounds. It's currently in Fabric. What do we want? Let's go Fabric XL. Let's see what's up. Maybe some plucks. Let's see. This is the output. Actually, I'm just going to record something and see if it works great. If not, I'll erase it. effects here. So I'm going to do that. Air Flavor Pro. Yes, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> now, once again, the vinyl just is usually too much on the clicks and pops. So we're going to turn those down, crackle a bit, bring the noise down. Uh, stereo, yes, yes, yes. Go back to the home page here. Adjust the high pass, low pass. I'll bring up the low pass too, or the, the high pass to take out any low end. Cool. This old speaker is really working for this. Any distortion? Change them all with distortion. What about vinyl? Tubes, maybe? Oh, actually, go like this. Digging that. I'm gonna adjust the mix down. It's a little bit less distortion. Let's see. I'm digging that. 
normally I'd save what I'm going to do for a little on the mix phase of things, but I want to mix this particular instrument back a bit. In order to do that, we kind of need to uh, do a little thing, do a few things here, or maybe one thing specifically. It needs a reverb uh, adjusted for it to kind of make it dreamy. So I went to air reverb and I'm going to go to the cathedral setting here just to start out. And you hear it's too much, but we bring the mix down. I think that'll work for now to get the point across because we want to drop the volume. I'm going to increase the, the time of the reverb too. Yeah. So it's like a background type of piece. So that's that. Let's move on to the next thing. Because we need to we need some sort of like lead thing to latch onto potentially. Hmm. Maybe the Millotron? The voice choir? Lo fi choir. Uh, maybe a piano. Let's go stage piano, atmospheric. What's regret sound like? Loading and loaded. This is kind of in the same territory as that previous patch, but maybe it will be exactly what we need. I'm also gonna put a limiter on here to increase the volume for now. That's just so I can hear it clearly at the moment. Oh, we record something. Yeah, this might work actually. You know what I was going to do? I totally forgot. That original sample is going to do uh, some automation on that effect thing. I'm digging this beat. I'm going to save it real quick because you never know when this thing could crash. <laughs> Saved at the date. And as you can see, I'm recording this on March 22nd. Back to the synth sample. So this frequency shifter, I wanted to do some stuff while I was playing. So let's see. I'm going to hit record or uh, the automation read button right there. And then if I uh, hit play, I believe it will record what I'm doing. So let's find out. very much for watching. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this content, this type of video, uh, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Helps out with the algorithm tremendously. 
Also, if you use our affiliate links, then it helps out the channel as well. We prefer Zounds. We've been using them for years. So if you use our affiliate links through Zounds, it directly supports us, which we would greatly appreciate. And if you want to hear the finished result of this beat, go over to our Tepti and Memes channel. I'll drop a link below in the description and you can uh, see the full beat in action. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Deuces.